Hello, everybody. I'm so pleased to be able to greet you on this occasion. It's um, a little like by location because actually while you're having an event in Palo Alto, we're having another event in Delhi. And so I'm going to be speaking in two places. And uh, uh, we can call it a miracle, although I think we may have seen behind the scenes and know that it's not. I remember Dr. Lewis talking about the early days in Boston when Master first came to this country. And Master would talk about the work and how it would grow and all the places they would have. And Dr. Lewis would look around him at that one room that Master was renting and say, but when, when? And then, of course, years later, it came to pass. I wonder if that isn't true for most great works. I remember when I first saw the balcony on which Lahiri Mohashai, as Master describes in Autobiography of a Yogi, used to give his Bhagavad Gita classes. And I imagined it to be a sizable crowd. It was hardly big enough for 15 people. And so also with the schools and with the communities, they were very small at first and the schools were almost nothing but I do believe this school system, as well as the communities, will have a lasting impact because they're telling something very important for this age. Our educational system today, as Master put it, is basically atheistic. It preaches values that give children nothing to cling to. I really believe that is why there are so many suicides among teenagers. They don't have anything left to believe in because their elders tell them religion is all a myth. But we need something to believe in. And in my book, Education for Life, I have presented Master's explanation of how we can arrive at a very sensible, down-to-earth kind of approach to religion. As science says, what do what works, so also in our education system, we teach children that spirituality is that which works. What works? What do we look for? We want happiness. We all want to be happy, to be peaceful, but happiness above all. And uh, when you do the right things, you find happiness. And when you don't, you don't. Money doesn't give happiness. Look at all the beautiful couples in Hollywood who are divorced and remarried and divorced and remarried and many, who knows how many times and how many wealthy people there are who are not happy. Happiness comes from expanding your sense of identity by sharing with others, by giving to them rather than taking from them. There are simple little principles in life that are universal and this is what our educational system teaches. You can be a Hindu, you can be a Christian, you can be a Buddhist, you can be a Muslim, it doesn't matter. All religions have this for their goal and whether you believe in Moses or Muhammad or Buddha or Krishna, it doesn't matter. What you believe after all, they used to call, say the world was flat, everybody believed it. They didn't make it so, did it? Our beliefs are not the proof of anything. When St. Paul said faith is the proof of things unseen, he meant because you have experienced it. That is the basis of faith. When you experience joy, then you know it works. When you experience that it's, it's better because you feel happier and more fulfilled to share with others rather than take from them and to cooperate with them rather than compete with them in a cutthroat way. This is what our education system is all about. And it's based on timeless wisdom. So I really do believe that this education system is going to sweep the world. And uh, I won't be around to see that. Maybe you won't either. But these things take a long time because when something is really worthwhile, it isn't a flash in the pan kind of excitement. People have to sort of chew on it, think about it, talk about it. Gradually more people come. And finally, the throng arrives, and by then, I think you're well out of it. But I'm so pleased that we have a very viable school in Palo Alto, which is, in a way, the um, sort of cutting edge of this age, in, in our times anyway. 
the intellectual capital of the world, perhaps you couldn't quite say, but in a way you could. There's a great deal of intellectual ferment in Palo Alto with computers, with Stanford University, with all the things that, that uh, um, we find people flocking to when they come to Palo Alto. And so although the center of Ananda is the village, still it's wonderful that we have living centers like places in places like Palo Alto, and that we have a school there which is growing, that we have wonderful children and wonderful teachers. I can't tell you how much it pleases me. Pat Kirby, who now lives at Ananda, wrote to me years ago, and I'd never heard of her, and she'd never heard of me, until she was assigned to write a paper on different uh, educational systems through history. Education for Life was, in fact, the theme of her paper. She'd never read my book, nor heard of Ananda or anything about me or Master. But she studied the educational systems of ancient China and India and Egypt and Greece and Rome and so on, up to the modern times with Montessori and uh, Rudolf Steiner's Waldorf schools and so on. Her comment at the end was, was uh, that the best system she'd encountered anywhere was in a book that she'd read by me, Education for Life, based on Master's teachings and example. And she finished her book by quoting extensively from my book. I was happy that she did so. And I'm happier still that she came and lived there. But this was just one of the, I believe it's going to be a typical pedagogic reaction to um, this system, which is so meaningful and doesn't strip children of the sense of idealism and aspiration that is so much a part of uh, what growing up should be. To grow up to a barren life is surely not what education is for. It isn't just to give people uh, uh, the knowledge they need to get a good job. It's how to live as a fulfilled human being. That's what our living wisdom schools are about. And I'm so pleased to be able to speak for this function and to offer my love and blessings and goodwill for everything that is happening there. I hope to see the same thing happen here in India. Joy to you and God bless you.